Hey guys, I'm Jade Ocean and I'm dead. <laughs> this workout was tough. I just did it. Uh, this is a high intensity, so you guys are going to burn. This is going to be a shedder. You're going to shed weight. You're going to burn some fat, burn some calories. You guys are going to feel good. Maybe a little bit tired after, but you guys are going to build some energy with this workout. Um, you don't need anything. You just need your body and some energy. Make sure that you have a little, maybe some coffee or something before, a little snack before, a little bit before, and um, not a full stomach, because that'll make you wheezy, and uh, somewhere soft to work out, so a yoga mat or carpet or something like that. You're gonna be on the floor doing some rolls and whatnot. Don't be scared, it's fun. Um, it is fast, take your time. Don't go too fast. Always start slow with any high intensity. Always, always start slow. Uh, posture is key. It is key with anything, especially with high intensity. It is a lot of fast, explosive type movements. So definitely you can injure yourself if you don't take your time to make sure your posture is good. So watch yourself in the mirror. Watch my videos. I try to get different angles. My cameraman, Aiden, aka my son, is in school right now. So I did my best to get different angles. If you guys have any suggestions for angles or um, maybe for some postures that you guys are confused about, just put it down below in the little box, make some comments, uh, reach out to me and let me know what you guys want to see. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun. Like I said, go slow, make sure you have some water, take a deep breath, breathe through the exercises. That's another thing. I see people go through these exercises and they're just like mm, holding their breath the whole time. So make sure that your core is strong. You're elongating. You're really making sure that you're breathing, 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 really important. Okay. Hope you guys like it. Good luck. Hands directly under the shoulders, fingers facing forward. As you roll down, roll to the hips, then roll all the way forward to the chest. As you come up, you're gonna reverse. So you're gonna pull the shoulders up, peeling them back, and then bring the hips, throw the hips up using your core strength, and then kick each knee directly towards the opposite elbow as you bounce the hips up and down. Be sure to go fast, breathe, and keep your core incredibly strong the entire time. Feet are below the hips, facing forward. You're gonna squat down, pushing the hips back, keeping the knees over the feet, so trying to keep them over the heels if possible. Keep the body upright and jump right straight up. As you come back down into your squat, you're gonna step back with one leg into a lunge with keeping both hip bones even to the front of the mat. So be sure not to twist the core. Step forward right back into a squat and jump and then alternate to the other side. Keep repeating this. Make sure you breathe and keep your core nice and strong so you don't round in the lower back. Shoulders stay back and down away from the ears. Place both hands underneath the shoulders, lift the hips up, keep the core nice and firm to allow for a little bit of roundness in the back. You're gonna keep the hips straight up, feet are gonna be right behind the hips as you roll to kick out to one side, rolling onto one arm, the other arm's just gonna to pull to the side. Make sure you keep your balance and keep rotating back and forth. And make sure you're breathing the entire time. Hinging from the hips, the hips are gonna go back. The leg that's under you, you're gonna bend at the knee as the hips go back, keeping the knee over the heel. Reach down with the opposite arm. The other leg is gonna be extended out and the weight's gonna stay on the foot right below you. The body is gonna bend forward as you reach down and touch the floor, keeping the back neutral. Be sure not to round the back. 
Keep the shoulders back, spread the collarbone, and the head stays neutral looking down just in front of you. As you spring up, switch the legs out and do the same thing on the opposite side. This becomes a shuffle, so a little bit faster pace. Be sure to breathe. Palms directly under the shoulders, fingers either facing forward or facing out slightly. Heels are gonna be right underneath the knees as you lift the hips. We're going to press evenly into the palms, lift up through the arms, press the shoulder blades into the back to keep this collarbone spread. Make sure you pull the shoulders down away from the neck. As you lift the hips up, you wanna draw the tailbone down towards the back of the knees and firm the core. So draw the navel in towards the spine and lift the belly button up. Kick one leg out and then as you bring that leg back in, drop the hips down. Again, repeat and lift the other leg the next time. Make sure to retain the space in the neck the entire time and breathe. As you roll down to the floor, you're going to bend at the knees, hips go back, softly roll to the floor, allow your arms to go straight out beside you, shoulders pressed down into the floor, allowing your hips and your legs to roll up and then up towards your head. You're going to keep your core very strong to support your back. As you come up, use your arms for a little momentum and then jump right into a jumping jack. As you come right back down, repeat. Keep your core strong the entire time and again, don't let your shoulders roll up towards your ears. Keep breathing. <laughs> 